Carlos Correa is back in the news. Of course, Alex. He is. Um, he doesn't want to leave. Not for his own, not on his own accord, really. Um, a guy you would expect it from, yes. Scott Boris, is kind of the reason here. Scott Boris come came out and just really out of nowhere had comments for the Mets about Carlos Correa and and why this signing didn't work out and how he ended up in Minnesota. And I want to read I want to read these comments to you first before Alex and I comment on it, but basically he just came out and said, "I don't understand the Mets." I gave them all of the information. We had them talk to four doctors. They knew the issue the Giants had, and yet they still called the same doctor the Giants used for his opinion. There was no new information. So why negotiate a contract if you were going to rely on the same doctor? Quote, unquote, Scott Boris, agent of Carlos Correa, who was a prized free agent possession at the shortstop position this offseason. What what immediately comes to mind here is it's so frustrating to hear these comments because the Mets are are paying somebody three hundred and fifteen million dollars, three hundred and twelve million dollars, whatever it was. They have every right to talk to absolutely whoever they want about the issue at hand. And I would absolutely call that same doctor that had an issue yep. saying, hey, man. What did you see? I would love to hear from your perspective. And if it's a big enough issue that the Mets don't feel like signing him, guess what? They don't have to sign them, and they have every right to to want to renegotiate a deal. So Scott Boer is coming out and saying this. Look, I understand you're sticking up for your client, but of course the Mets reached out to as many doctors as they possibly could. Yeah, everyone did what they were supposed to do in this moment, right? Steve Cohen is a great businessman, okay? You got to do your due diligence on your investment, especially an investment this big that is over $300 million. So yeah, you're not only going to get your own opinion from doctors, but you're going to call the other doctor who found the other issue because yes, nothing changed. What did you find? What do I need to know that like maybe my three other doctors or four other doctors didn't find? Absolutely. So yeah, he did what he was supposed to do, but Boris did too. You got to stand up for your your client. You got to publicly be frustrated, even if you kind of secret who knows maybe he like secretly like yeah I get it that's what you're supposed to do but you publicly have to come out and stand up for your client that's what he had to do so I, I see both sides here this is more of just like a wambulancia like no it, it's fine it is what it is everyone just kind of move on from the same I guess that's a that's a good point because I'm sitting here in my head thinking like well yeah he said that like what's the alternative what else do you say yeah and the answer is nothing. Nothing. You don't have to say anything. You don't always have to be in the media. And and I get it. He's the best in the business. Yeah. He's great at what he does. He gets his client a ton of money. Scott Boris missed out on many, many millions here with the deal not happening with the Mets. So I he get did. he's frustrated there. But of course the Mets checked in with the same doctor yeah. that had an issue because of course they want to know. They're about to pay him a ton of money. And this is an interesting quote from... From the Giants after Correa, I don't want to say failed a second physical, but after the second one fell apart, yeah. um, the Giants said they don't feel vindicated by a second failed physical and called the whole situation unfortunate. Um, Zaidi said, I'm happy for Carlos. He's one of the great players in the game. He seems happy with where he's going. You know what it actually makes me think now, like, Correa's probably a, more upset, obviously, than he's allowed to show because now he's with he signed with a new franchise. Yeah. You got to put on a happy face. You got to be excited for that fan base. You got to be excited for your teammates, for the franchise you're with now. But we could all see how excited he was during that little window when we thought he was going to the Mets. Yeah, like there there was a lot of excitement there. So I'm sure he is probably the most upset that it didn't happen. Boris is hearing it over his shoulder, and then he just got to okay. Yeah. let me just say something because my client's not happy. Uh, yeah, and it was it was crazy. I will never forget where I was when I found out Carlos Correa signed with the Mets. I was on a plane in the middle of the night. It was a red eye. I thought for sure nothing would happen. So for <laughs> once in my life, I didn't get the Wi-Fi because I f tried to fall asleep. Did you actually sleep? Ben doesn't sleep on no, planes, No, I you guys. can't. I can't, but I was trying so hard. <laughs> you always I was, try like, really hard. Backwards. I, my eyes were closed and I was like uh, getting close. I felt like, and then all of a sudden the guy sitting to my left across the yeah. aisle who I don't know, tapped me on the shoulder yeah. and goes, Hey, you're Ben, right? Yes. Yes, I am. 
And he goes, yeah, I follow you on Twitter. I feel like you'd like to know that Carlos Correa just signed with the Mets. And I'm like, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? I finally fell asleep and I'm, yeah. I'm in a dream. No, nope, it actually happened. And that's where I was. And then it all fell apart. But Scott Boris and Carlos Correa back in the news. That would have been a big pickup for the Mets. It Huge. would have. There's no way around it. Huge. Um, there's absolutely no way around it. And, and it hurts. It does hurt them. They needed yeah. that. They needed a bat. Um, they didn't get a bat. That they didn't get a huge bat they needed. Yeah. And um now they now they move on with still with still a great team. Still a great team. Yeah, there's th there's still a top three team in the league, for sure. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3 0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest and we have a lot of fun. So hit that subscribe button.